Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Matthews here from Emando Forex Traders. If you're new to our channel, kindly subscribe, hit the like like button, turn on that bell notification so that you get to be notified every time we drop a new video. Today we are back with a new interesting video on Euro, Euro, Euro NZD forecast. We're looking at um, the forecast of what, about 14 hours, which is about 333 pips, risking about 23 pips. So uh, let me show you how I got to this. Uh, chat analysis right here let me just break it down for you guys all right so let's get going right now let me just delete everything and we go okay so this is a blank chart right this is a blank 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 chart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the higher time frame let's get from the daily time frame so what are we doing on the daily time frame on the daily time frame we are ascertaining the overall direction of the train all right so the overall direction of the train right now you can clearly see that it's bearish it's been bearish for a long time okay this is uh 2020 and we've seen that the market has been going down 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 and all recently we've seen the market pushing to the upside all right so personally i'm i'm willing to go with the overall direction of the major trade so i'm looking to sell therefore i'm looking for selling opportunities of course there's this uptrend here i mean this can continue but i'm, I'm looking at the overall trend of the market okay so from here i'm going to drop my four hour time frame looking for supply zones to sell from so you can clearly see that we had a nice rally to the upside but if we're starting to see that market is trying to put up lower lows, I mean lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Right here, you can see that it's clear. All right. So another thing that is the trace that caught my eye here is this level right here. So we're going to continue, continue to go to the down to the down uh, to the downside so that you can actually appreciate what is happening on the lower time frame. Let's go to the 30 minute time frame. Nice. So we have something here. So if you go to the four, two hour time frame, let me just show you. So you can, um, let me just do this. This was interesting. So let me just highlight this level right here. Let me highlight this. Then I go to the lower time frame. Why is this important? Because this has an imbalance candle and also there's a lot of inefficiency candle right here, which simply means presence of smart money in the market. Okay. So we go to the um to the lower time frame when 30 minutes time frame we can uh, see a nice rally based drop supply zone right this is a rally based drop supply zone so that's interesting so we can go ahead and delete that let's go to the 15 minutes time frame you know you, you you guys know what i'm looking for right now right so i'm looking for my order block so i'm going to do this and uh i'll still go to the lower time frame until i find that i refine my order block okay so this is much better so right here i'm going to go ahead and do this okay so this is the zone i'm looking at this is the zone i'm looking for price to come to okay so from here i'm going to go back to the 30 minutes time frame and uh start doing my markups right so i'm going to extend this to the right side like that so for for aesthetics i want this to actually go to the upside so that i can have a clean clean chart like that nice it's already looking good already so let's finish up so you can clearly see that so from here i'm going to look for my qml my low my high high and my lower low which was broke which caused the break of structure right from there i'm going to look at my liquidity area and then my entry zones right so from here you can clearly see that this is a rally based drop so we go here rally based drop supply zone right there like that clean and then um then i'm looking for my qml so you can clearly see that what they have here is actually a beautiful dual resistance qml which carries more weight than the the, the general one and then the single single qml where we have dual resistance qml it means that a lot of retail traders were trapped here by this move that took way to the upside so the liquidity was taken out from there and then uh 
we see what happens it has it actually carries more weight than the other one than the usual one okay from here we saw that price broke this low clean right a clean break of this low uh which simplifies change of character from here we just do that and we have that in place and then we input our higher high just there okay we have our higher high just above there clean right what else what else are you able to see from from here oh another thing i forgot to put is the lower low we had a lower low so meaning our past is complete we have a qml we have the low we have a higher high and we've got a break of structure very nice presentation already this is a very nice presentation already so from here what are we looking for we're looking for liquidity so remember liquidity can be can be in form of trend line liquidity can be form of eco highs so you can actually do this as a, i mean put this as an eco high but rather i'm looking at this level here i'm looking at this trend line liquidity right here so let's see if we can if we can start it from there yeah this is very very clean you can clearly see that we had an a level a trend line touch from there another one from here and another one from right there you see how that nice how good that is this is coming up really really good already so right here what we have is a nice 3d drive what we call a 3d drive nice so when we know what happens is that when people see this they're trying to sell from here so one tries to actually come into our area then we are going to sell from there and what's our plan our plan is to um first of all predefine our risk we're willing to enter when the market comes back to this level right here right here and our stop loss is going to be slightly above the higher high about 24 pips and then my target is going to be just below here why am i targeting this though because this is a next then the next fresh demand zone so that's where my my target is going to be at and uh just like that i'm, I'm extending this to the right side so that i give room for the market to move around to wiggle around right so uh this is how it is right now so we have our progress already in place we have a 3d drive all right and then we have uh, a nice uh 3d drive right here for, uh, waiting for price to come to our rally base drop supply zone and once that happens of course while waiting for our confirmation we'll just wait for the market to do what it has to do if price doesn't come to our level we don't get involved we don't get involved we we'll only get involved when price comes to our level all right so when price drops and pushes to the upside like that then we'll be likely going to go in if price doesn't come to our level like that then it will be very 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 uh disappointing because we won't get involved we will not get involved until price comes direct to this level right here gives us a confirmation and then we can get involved so i'm looking for i'm seeing something nice here if you can go to the lower time frame yeah so you can see that price actually reacted from this level right here. let's even drop further let's drop further to the lower time frame yeah so i'm looking at this level here as a potential level where the market could bounce from like have you you've already seen that price has actually reacted from this level right yeah so i'm looking for a reaction from at this level right here so that the market can be pushed to the upside and if that happens then price would come if price comes to our level right here then we will likely going to get involved and we we'll actually enter into this particular trade and guess what the trade is going to be sent in our private community of course the forecast has already been sent the forecast has already been sent it's here so we're just going to wait for the what we're just going to wait for the confirmation and then uh yeah who will send the signal if the market gives us the confirmation if the market doesn't give us the confirmation we will just look for other setup wait for other setups like you've seen we already have our 
of watch list ready already so we're just gonna wait for what, what the market is going to do and if we have our confirmation then we're going to get involved all right so this is a beautiful this is actually a very very nice presentation i like it so does it mean that this trade is absolutely going to work no matter what like i always tell you on a trade by trade basis no matter how perfect the setup might look there is no way to know what's going to happen however i know that if i take these kind of setups every time they appear i know that i'm going to be profitable why look at my risk to reward ratio man this trade is almost like a 1 to 14 risk to reward ratio how many trades like this do i need for me to be profitable how many trades do i need i just need one or two a week even just one a week is okay i'm going to be net profitable why because of the good risk to reward ratio this trade on its own gives me about 1 to 14 risk to reward ratio which is insane right it's insane i'm risking about 23 pips to potentially make around one i mean 333 pips that's a lot that's a lot another thing is that i'm trading in the direction of the trade therefore there's a higher chance because i'm trading with the least with the least resistance right so i'm trading with the big money so that's how it is so you guys i thought i would come to you guys with this beautiful beautiful video i hope i really hope you find value in this if you do make sure that you subscribe for such content make sure that you like the video comment in the comment, comment section and also if you'd like to join us join our mentorship community our signals community or rather do our mastery course which teaches you everything about the way of analyzing this chart right now like from like from the beginning a naked chart like this the links are down in the description it's the first link in the description it gives you all those uh, beautiful beautiful things right there so you guys until next time god bless you until next time goodbye